I was an NFL cheerleader for two seasons. I cheered for the Indianapolis Colts. I was living in Indiana at the time. And I honestly didn't think I was going to make the squad. I saw the, the ladies perform at the game. I was watching TV and I saw a quick glimpse of the cheerleaders. And I thought, oh my gosh, they look so pretty. That looks so fun. And I just set a goal of going to the auditions. My only goal was to go to the auditions. And I did prepare for it. I took about six months to, to go to the gym and, and learn some dances. And I showed up to the auditions just with no expectations. The only expectation I had, honestly, was to have fun and to meet people. And the audition process was six weeks long. Each week they cut women. There was about 330 women that showed up and they cut it down to 30 that year. And so about 10% of the women were chosen. And each week I kept making it. And I was so shocked because I, I just did not, I didn't have a dance background. I didn't mention that. I didn't grow up dancing. I didn't take dance classes. And by the end of the audition process, when they announced, they announced that I was a part of the team, and, and it was interesting. One of the things that the director said to me, uh, because throughout the process they score you, and I ended up having the highest score. What was interesting though, wasn't necessarily that I had the highest score. The feedback that I got from the director was, we all could tell that you don't have traditional dance as a background, and we will have to work with you to polish that. What really stood out to all of us was how much fun you were having and how you connected with all of the women. And that was something that has really stuck with me because as an entrepreneur, I don't have all the skill sets that other entrepreneurs have. There's been a lot of things that I've had to learn on my own that some people may have learned from their parents or been exposed to at an earlier age. And But what I do have is passion and the will to go to move forward regardless of if I have all the answers. And, and that was the, that's what I took most from my experience as a cheerleader. And the highlights, I mean, it was great being on the field with the players. I, I cheered during Peyton Manning's reign, which he was a, uh, he's a popular uh, quarterback. And, and those are my highlights, really meeting the other women. I met some of my best friends doing that. And there's nothing like performing in front of thousands of people and, and just having a good time with friends.